So we're going to go ahead and install our breather plate. One of the things we've got to keep in mind because this crankcase has been closed and honed, our breather plate, which has just been cleaned right now, we haven't cleaned the gasket surface or dressed it yet, we're going to do that next. But what we need to do is see if it will now slide all the way down on the studs, which it would probably go if I forced it, but because the crankcase has been closed and honed, the distance you can see on the studs on either side, it's right up hard against the hole. So what we are going to need to do to correct this issue is, by default, this bolt hole is 6.5 millimeters. We are going to take our 7 millimeter drill and we are going to run our drill down through these holes just to enlarge it out to give us a better clearance. It's not going to affect the ceiling surface. It will increase the diameter by 0.5 of a millimeter, but none of that's going to be critical. Because the hole has already been drilled on here, we're not drilling a new hole. We can do this without using a vise. I've just got a 7 millimeter drill in my cordless, and as long as I'm careful, I just want to. Bring that through and enlarge out these holes. You can see that the drill follows pretty straight down through the existing holes. So the next thing that I want to do, I finished drilling my hole, so I'm going to have a slight burr here. But these covers are prone to warpage where they get tightened down. We've also got a little bit of corrosion around here. So there's a couple of ways to resolve this. We could use a power sander or a flat wheel that gives a nice flat surface. If you don't have one of those, I like to use a piece of glass. This is safety glass that's also taped on one side. I use glass because it's perfectly flat. These are just uh, 60 grit pieces of sandpaper and what I'm going to do is just take my piece, support the sandpaper, and make our figure eight. Now if we look at the finish that we got, we can see the high spots where it's just the sandpaper is only contacting around the bolt hole areas. This is because when this has been tightened down, these have been forced into the original gasket due to over tightening, and these areas have allowed to be warped. So if we put this on the engine, it's going to leak out oil around from these areas. So we've been sanding for a little while right now, and we're getting pretty close. We can see these surfaces are nice and current around here. But I've got a big hole here and a big section right here where the sandpaper is just barely contacting it. So we still need to sand some more when we see this. What we're looking for is an evenly sanded piece over the entire gasket surface. Okay, we've been sanding for a little while now but we can see that everything along the gasket surface is nice and consistent and we've gotten rid of our corrosion which we had right around this section and now we are flat all the way across. All we've got to do is clean this off and it's ready to install. Once I've cleaned off all of our metal debris from resurfacing the breather plate, we're just going to go ahead and recheck our fit and it should slide down pretty nice and just sit on, which now it does. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and install the gasket. We don't need any sealant on this one. This surface doesn't have any signs of corrosion. It's all in good shape. So we're just going to go ahead and sit that gasket on. It is very important that you pay attention to this part. Make sure that the gasket goes on with that part right here. If you install the gasket upside down, you will have a large hole right here which will leak a lot of oil. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. Make sure the gasket is on correctly. And then we're going to go ahead, take our breather plate, just drop that back down onto it. And once again, I'm going to use flat washers and nylocks. 
And I just want to bring the nylocks down just until they contact the breather plate and then we'll get our torque wrench. And then these are going to be the same torque as the sump plate which is going to be 6 newton meters. So I'm going to go ahead and install our adapter. I've got its copper sealing ring. This is the adapter for the oil pressure sander. So this is just going to screw in and torque down. This is capping off the main oil pressure galley. And it's also going to torque to 42 newton meters. Next, we're going to go ahead, we left this nut loose when I sealed the crankcase. This is because the lifting hook is attached on this stud and the lifting hook cannot go in before the breather plate is attached. The lifting hook is just going to sit straight up against and you can see by the radius here that if we had attached it first and then tried to put the breather plate on, it will not fit. So now I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall that nut in the washer and tighten this to 25 newton meters.